Hi guys, today in this video we are going to talk about materials in the spline. If you haven't watched my previous videos, I will link it in the description and also the playlist shown at the top right corner. So let us get started. We know that an object without any materials can look a bit 2D. So to get it kind of 3D look in the 2D space, we have to add some materials and lighting to it. We can observe that whenever I select an object, there is a material settings in here. So if I also create an cube here. So the default materials we have whenever we create any object is that lightning and color. The lightning helps you change the color of the object as you can see we have different presets option here and also a color gradient which we can use to change the hue and also we have saturation tints which can be changed from here. We have a color picker if you use this we can just select a color from the scene. We have a hex format also if we give any hex value it will change its color to that. And we have a opacity parameter which can be used to increase or decrease the opacity of the color. So as you can see if I decrease the opacity we get this transparent translucent light -like object. And the lightning material is used on how to apply the lighting on the object. So there are some options in here. We have Lambert, Fong, Physical and Tone. So I have taken a sphere and removed the lighting from it and you can see that we get a circle. Even if we rotate it we can just uh, observe that it will be looking like a circle so to give it a 3d feel we can use lightning if i select tone we can see that it gives a cartoon like feel to us there are some parameters in here if we click the lightning icon we can see that we have color and shininess so if i play with the color we have a highlight on the object and if i change the shininess we can see that how much it is going to apply after that we have physical we can observe that the physical lighting has roughness metalness and reflectivity so if we change this you can see whether it will be reflective or just a matte color and we have a metallic feature and then the reflectivity on how much it will reflect Fong and Lambert lightning applies the light evenly on the object. The single difference is that Fong has shininess which can be changed to get whether we have a reflective surface and Lambert doesn't have it. So these are the default materials which can be used to create a 3D feel for the object. And if you want to add a material we can just click the plus icon here and you can see we get a color option as a default. We can change the material type through this uh, drop down menu. So we have texture, depth, normal, gradient, noise, fresnel, rainbow, glass is a new feature which has been added recently and matte cap and displays. So I will be talking about those in the next videos. And if you observe there is interlocking icon in the opacity parameters and if I click this we get the settings and how to apply that material whether it to be more normal material screen and overlay and to explain this we will be taking a, another material as a color so if we click the plus icon we get a color as you can see when I added the new material we get a color default and it has been a circle without any lightning applying to it this happens because uh, the materials are applying in a layer format so we have a color then after lightning then after color so if i just drag the color below the lightning you can see that lightning is applying then the color then another color now we get to only the second color and not the first color to get the first color or the combination of both color we can use these settings these are just like the blend options we have in the photoshop and in other digital softwares so to explain this the blend options we will be taking a blue color and a red color material so as you can see we have the blue color on normal and we can only see the blue color appearing not the red if i change its position in the layer we can see that the red is at the top and it is only appearing now we have multiply which is nothing but it is combining the two colors and darkening it so we have a red and a blue so it will be a purple with a dark and if we select green it will just give us a lighter color of that combination so we have a red and blue which will be given purple and it is lightened so multiply darkens and screen lightens then we have a overlay which is the combination of multiply and screen value so we have a darkened purple and a lighter version of purple so these two are combined and we are given this color so basically this is how the blend option works you can use different colors and materials and use the blending options to create amazing artworks in the spline i will be explaining about the rest of the materials in the upcoming videos so that's it for today guys so if you have enjoyed the tutorial please do like share and subscribe to the video and the channel and also hit the bell icon to get any notifications and also do comment down below if you have any questions or any request you have and also join the spline discord see you next time bye